Hey there, friends. Tips again. Out in the garage doing a little bit of goofing around tonight. <clears throat> and uh, I found a new, uh, a new flavor of sparkling water because I needed some new colors for the, the can mobile up here. So I uh, found this uh, cran ra or Raz Cranberry. And uh, it's a pretty good one. It's a different color. So I've got a fresh can downrange to start plinking with. And hopefully what I have here in the mail call for tonight is going to be a uh, new plinker for that can. So let's go ahead and uh, we can uh, get this guy opened up. Got my trusty 110 here. So I can't remember. This was unlisted on eBay. I can't remember if it was... I think they said they they didn't know how to test it. So uh, I'm not sure if it'll work or not. So my buddy Steve over at Real Airgun Adventures in the UK, check out his channel. Really cool, uh, really cool airgun channel. <clears throat> he uh, showed one of these a couple weeks ago. He got one and uh, I had never known about it. So I started searching for one and I I saw a couple, but they were in really pretty tough shape. This one looks like it's pretty good, but they said they didn't know how to test it. But uh, what we have is a Healthways top score. So I have a Healthway Plainsman. Probably should have got that out just so I could show you. But I have a Healthway Plainsman, which is a CO2 cartridge BB gun. And uh, that one uses 8 gram CO2 cartridges, which aren't impossible to find, but they're not nearly as common as the uh, 12 gram CO2 cartridges but this one here is actually a spring piston powered which if you guys follow my channel at all you do know that I like the uh, guns that can create their own power so um, but yeah it's it's got a few scratches on the paint and stuff but uh, overall out outwardly here it looks like it's in pretty good shape um, so let's see and it's got a little catch on the side here. So you unlock the barrel and the barrel lifts up and cocks. And uh, the spring is down here in the, in the piston from what I remember. So when you close the barrel. So on Steve's, let's see here. On his, there was a he had a little gate here inside that you had to open up to put the BBs in. But it doesn't look like this one has that kind of gate. That's kind of weird. I don't know what that's about. It's uh, made in the USA though. That's all that matters. <laughs> but uh, let's see. So you close it down and yeah, it seems to be firing. How do I put the BBs in it? Hmm. Oh, there's a little, <laughs> this little uh, port on top slides open. So his was the gate was underneath. Kind of like that better, I think. Let's just put a BB or two in there. Oh, yeah. So I got three in there right now. So let's see. Uh, get one to feed in there. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> All right. So uh, let me go ahead. Uh, Put two, three in there already, but let me put a few more in there and then we'll shoot at the can. <clears throat> so this, the way this is set up to shoot, it kind of reminds me of, you know, as far as probably power wise goes, maybe the, the Marksman 1010 pistol, if you guys are familiar with that at all, or or maybe the, uh, the Daisy. 188 <clears throat> which has a little brake barrel um, but here let me bring you out here to shooting range position Ooh. I got too many guns sitting on the ground here all right so let's go ahead and cock it up it's definitely gravity fed Got to make sure that latch is down from what 
Steve said, or else it won't shoot. Yeah, hit the can. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Maybe it didn't pierce it, though. Missed it that time. Nope. Didn't get one to feed that time. came out but it didn't hit the can all right got to find my point of aim here feeding them I don't know where I'm, I'm missing at I got too many holes in that cardboard already they're definitely coming out there it goes that one looked like it made a hole. Maybe it just needed a little cycling to get it rolling here. From the sounds of it, it hasn't been used in quite a while. From the sounds of it was found in a state and they didn't know how to test it. So it probably hasn't been used in a while. Probably could use a little oil down inside of it. Now it's a... Ooh, hey, now she's getting some power. Let me uh, put a little drop of oil down inside the action here. Let's see if that'll help uh, get things moving. It's definitely... <laughs> It's definitely piercing the can a lot better than it did when I first started. I think I'm onto something now. <laughs> I think I got safety glasses on. I think I might be out of BBs. Yep. Wow, this is gonna be a lot of fun see some head-to-head -head challenges with this and the uh, the Daisy 188 maybe the uh, one seventy seven maybe even probably even the Plainsman okay Definitely needs a little dab of orange paint on the front sight. <laughs> That'll help a lot with uh, with sighting. There we go. Oh yeah, she's she's piercing the can pretty good now. When I hit it. <laughs> Oop, didn't get a BB to feed that time. There she goes. Ooh. Ricocheted off the can, hit my enclosure. I've got a steel enclosure now around my target there just to keep strays from getting away. Don't want to put a hole in my door. Wow, that's a lot of fun. Guess I'll wrap it up. <laughs> Alrighty. We'll finish on a on a strong note there with a good hit. But uh, there you go. There is the top score. 175. There's a uh, close-up of the uh, roll stamp there. Really pretty cool. Let's see here, 074, I wonder if that's the date code, uh, 74, I don't know, that sounds about right for these uh, health ways, but <clears throat> if anybody has any information about it, let me know, but there you go, that's a pretty cool find, uh, got it pretty cheap because uh, they didn't, 
had it listed uh, unknown if it works pretty sure it was listed uh, untested but uh, definitely isn't winning any power contest but uh, fun shooting gun Ooh, ran out of BBs alrighty so anyway hope you liked the video till next time have a great day